Yes, please. So we're on to day three of getting the pathway, pathways and all the groundwork getting dug out for the garden and it's a nice place to be right now where we feel like we're, we're actually making headway and thank god we've got the digger. Um, I'm learning to use it so don't laugh at me, it's been one of them experiences, I've never done anything like it. It's a big old piece of kit, it's absolutely brilliant though, it's, it does the work of 20 men so it's letting us crack on through it, put my muscles here and here. I feel like I've been on a buck and bronco for the last two days, um, yeah I can feel it today. But we're getting on with it now and, and what's nice now is we, we're nearly halfway there, we've nearly got half of the pathways done for, for one side of the garden and that might not seem like a much for three days work but we've shifted a good 50 ton and I don't know whether Terry shows it in the video but we then have to get rid of that as well we have to unload it off the trailer so things take a little bit longer we're building the beds up some of you have suggested that yeah we're doing that anyway we have been as we're taking path about half of it's going out and about half of it's going back on um, some of it has to go because again you'll see from the videos that we're just pulling chunks and chunks of roots out big root balls and big clusters so in part I've had to go deeper than where I really would have liked to have done but it gives us the ability we can straighten it up we can get all the lines done nicely and we can get it exactly how we want it um, and I don't think it, we won't be far off by the end of today having half of it done and we'll have to take you for a walk around the garden so I'm going to go and crack on and get some more done
So while Tracy's been around here, she's been prepping to get some of this garden ready, get some of the weed matting down ready for next year, um, so we can start planting out early next year, get everything sorted. She's made a little interesting discovery. Now, you might remember a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about having the porch on the chateau and actually only realizing that it, that had actually only came down in the early 2000s. So we want to try and find one where it's gone because um, we don't know if there's any chance, any chance that we could get it back or two, just anyone that has any further information about it so that we can look to replicate it. But this little piece that we found is quite interesting. And I think what we've got is the top cast iron piece off the top of the um, porch itself. Now, if we stand it up and we do it from the chateau wall, which it was probably embedded, I'm guessing a little bit in. If you look at where it goes to, I'd say personally that it looks exactly where the porch would have went to because we know the porch came out to nearly the, the curved steps. So I'd say that this is the top, the top piece um, that actually went onto the top of the porch um, and held it in place. So we kind of have an idea now of how big it was and it means that we can start replication, replicating the dimensions. We can see how wide it is on the wall. We now, I'm pretty certain that that is the front piece, so we'd be able, the top piece, sorry, so we'd be able to know how far it came out. And we can start looking at the, the dimensions of it and, and working out, see if it's something that we could do in the future. Let's take it closer and see where it actually, see if we can work out what it belongs to. Is it could. Could well be, I'd say maybe a little bit short. I, I like the idea of it being the top. Not for any other reason, not for any argumentative purposes or anything, just for, I like knowing how far out it goes. And for me, it looks just a little bit short of where it would have went. Like I say, when you lay it out from the back wall to where it would have gone, I'd say that's about right in terms of where this would have came to, where it looks it came to anyway. So we'll have to wait and see. So I know we're looking at a bit of a mess. Um, it's one of them things, can't be helped. As usual, jobs at the Chateau, they're never as straightforward as the seam. And as you've seen, as I've been digging this out, this whole piece of land, and um, this whole stretch is just littered with tree roots. And um, these are quite small compared to some of the ones that I've actually took out, um, but they're still very much lodged in and meant I've had to go a bit deeper and do a bit more work than what we thought we were gonna to have to do. It's no mean feat what we've got done. Like I say, we're nearly halfway around the garden. We've got a little bit left here to do the circle here and then um, the main pathway. And that'll be us halfway through the garden. Um, and in three days, I don't think it's bad when you consider, I think we took like 30 trailer loads out. 
um, of soil from here and we've probably put another 20 trailer loads of topsoil back around in other bits of the garden that we know that we're going to have to build up so it it does look a mess it does look as if we've not done very much but this has been a hard day's slog and some of the stuff you don't get to see off, off the camera so we were delayed two hours today just getting pieces of equipment started and it's just that's just the way it is and we accept it we're not sad about it we know that we're making progress and even if it's only baby steps we're still making progress but i'll take you over because you can really start to feel what it's going to be like now walking around this garden and and just understanding the, the paths and, and how it's going to flow and you can start to envisage where these plants are going to be and and just how nice it's going to be it's not just it's going to be so many different layers around here so start off in the center we come around um, and again you've just got everywhere you look you're going to have the beautiful chateau in view um, and she'll be clean by then as well hopefully um but just see some of the the work that we've done again we've had to go down this deep so we're a good six inches down um, so it means that now we're going to be able to run our irrigation wire um, our irrigation lines right the way around like I said we're going to need four good lots because this, there is literally thousands of plants going in here we're going to have beautiful trees going in here we're going to have beautiful plants loads of hydrangeas, roses, lavender and lots of other beautiful plants that I know Shane and Warren really like so they've put into the designs for us and Karen as well so it's things that again that we'll be able to manage and we'll be able to look after but it won't just be uh, like single dimension there'll be little bits of grass and little bits of lawn in there as well so we can put tables and chairs so people can come and enjoy this just this beautiful space when you've got the views that you've got around here and a nice day in the middle of summer there, there is literally nowhere else i want to be in the world it, it's just heaven so i'd like to say we can wander around this was my path i, I made a nice curvy path which i'm quite impressed with didn't look great when i did it at first but terry's neatened it all out for me and made it look all nice and tracy's flattened it all down and <laughs> made it a lot flatter than i did like i said first try at the digger never used that machine before and yeah it was a good experience but it, it just jolt you about a bit and um, but again the soil hasn't been going to waste so we, we like i say we've probably took 30 trail loads and we're probably putting i'd probably say a ton of time in in the trailer um and like I say, we've probably spread another, so we're probably at 50 tonnes, so it probably is going to be about 100 and, 130, 150 tonne that we'll end up taking out of here or displacing and moving around the garden. But one thing that we did decide to do is, Jonathan's really loved having his flower beds, but we just decided we needed something a little bit bigger to grow our fruit and veg next year. So I'll take you through and show you what we're doing around here with it. So onto our lovely family area. <coughs> we do get to use this, we use this all summer long. And we've got it somewhere now that we kind of want it to be and it's looking how we want it to we have veggies growing here all year we've got flowers growing here tracy's got her beautiful little wild garden which has come up absolutely amazing this year and then paula um, was here for a couple of weeks and she spent her time painting as she does because she's so good at it look at the pagoda looks absolutely brilliant a couple of welding points and it's it's as good as new it looks like it should have always been here and we've got some white lavender as well um, it's not something i'd seen before but it just goes really well down here it's still fragrant still nice still smells like lavender just something a little bit different um i feel like being different here at the chateau you know us um, and what we did this year we did grow some veggies we did it all in pots though and we probably put too many too close together so we've got a decent harvest we've been eating them all year we've had cucumbers we've had peppers we've had tomatoes um, all fresh, all beautiful, and like I said, being used all year, but we just want something a bit bigger. I think we know we can manage it, we know we can bring them on. Tracy grew all of these from seed, um, brought them all on, and she was literally, she was caring for them. She had little heat blankets underneath them and everything all, all winter to get them up. <coughs> and then what we're going to do next year is we're going to have a nice big veggie garden here. Um, we've got three of the um, planters down and... Ali and Aaron and Tracy have been working around here the last few days to clear all this off. We've got a little berm pile, get rid of that. But it'll give us a, a massive space around here um, to actually grow some things and grow potatoes, grow our little veggies. And Terry and Tracy have got some ingenious ideas because um, this year we've had the peacocks. The peacocks love our berries. They love any of the berries, so we've struggled with them. The strawberries, the raspberries, and the lizards like the lettuce. They keep stealing the lettuce. So they've come up with some ingenious ideas to actually not be on the ground and keep them away from them. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing them. 
Um, but what we'll do this year is we'll cover these up, um, ready for, for spring planting out next year. Um, just get them all nice and sterile and, and ready to go and we'll probably top them off with some donkey manure before we go. So that's our show today. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a good one. We've enjoyed it. We're still having fun. Um, still smiles on all our faces with everything we do. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and make sure you've got the bell click for notifications so you don't miss any videos. And we'll see you in the next one. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.